Hey guys, it's Edie, your video creation strategist, coming in with another episode of You Ask, I Answer. In today's episode, I'm going to answer questions that were submitted based on your interest in Canva. So stay tuned. In today's episode, we are going to answer questions regarding Canva, present and record. So there were a few questions that came in, so I wanted to sort of troubleshoot and walk through them as I answered. So one of the first ones is regarding downloading your present and record um, presentation, which is a little bit of a pain. So I have um, a presentation here. I'm going to go to present and record. It's going to send me to the recording studio where it's going to um, capture my audio and my video. It's going to count me down and I'm just going to do a quick test for just a few seconds, maybe um, about 15 seconds, just so that I have something on here. Um, and while I'm in here, I can answer a couple of other questions that came in. One was they wanted to be able to um, showcase their mouse on the screen. That is not a feature that is as of yet available on Canva Present and Record. Not sure why, so that just tells me that this isn't a live screen that they're recording. They're just taking the slides as is and sort of presenting them in a video format. And I'm watching the video and I can control the sliding, but I can't do anything about what's going on on the screen itself. So that, I think, is the reason behind that. So let's stop. Another question came up about being able to delete. You can cancel and discard here, and then you can also discard if you made a mistake or you decided, oops, I don't like that one. I wanna do something um, a little bit different. This does give you that option of discarding this um, immediately here, and then it gives you the option here. Now, this is where um, this becomes a little bit of a pain. Normally in Canva, if you clicked on save and exit, or if you will actually save and exit just puts you back to your original um, presentation in, presen in, in the original format, not in presentation mode. And then obviously here you can copy the link and then be able to give that link to whomever. And then here's the one that really tends to confuse you. And that's the download. So if you click on download, it does essentially the same thing that the save and ex exit does. The only difference is save and exit doesn't do the downloading. But unlike the normal way that you download in Canva, normally by the time this finishes, a window will pop up asking you where you want to save your um, your presentation, whether you know, regardless of what it is. And in this example, as soon as this finishes, we'll, we'll see what happens. You'll see that it does not do that for some strange and odd reason. It bypassed the option for you to save it where you want to save it. So what you have to do here is just hit download here and then that opens it up for you. So you'll be able to save it that way. You can see I've done um, some other ones and then you can save it that way. That's the only way for you to do it. It's sort of, I'm not really sure why it does that, but that's unfortunately um, how this one works. And then in regards to the question, once I save the recording, you cannot undo to delete and record a new one, right? You can't undo it, but you can delete it. So let's say in this example, you've already saved this recording, you can delete it. Discarding your recording cannot be undone. So once you've deleted it, you can go and re-record again. How to use the cursor while recording. Is this function available? No, this function is not available, unfortunately. Um, and we'll be able to sh see that later. Can we record, present, and record using our phones? In this example, you can see that you can actually present but you cannot present and record using the app on your phone. Is there a way to turn off the video in present and record? 
and there technically is not. The most that I could do, and that's primarily because I have a Logitech, I don't think that this would give you an option of doing anything else. I can switch from my physical webcam to my Logic Capture, in which case it does this, and that's what would appear on the screen. So if I go to start recording, you'll see instead of my face, this is what's here. So, and this is what ends up getting recorded. So there is no way for you to simply remove um, yourself. Now, if you're interested in doing that, I would highly recommend using Loom because Loom gives you that physical ability of removing yourself and just doing the screen only. And then the last question is in reference to being able to embed my Canva video presentation into a blog. Okay, so in order to embed your presentation, you'll need to make a decision. Do you wanna embed it as a PowerPoint presentation like this, sort of like PowerPoint slides, or would you prefer to do it as your present and record video? If you wanna embed it as a video, then you have to, um, once you've recorded your video, you have to save that, export it as a MP4 video, and then upload that to like YouTube or Vimeo and get the embed code from there. If you want to just have the slides, then you just need to come over here to the three dots, come down to where it says embed. And when you select this, know that once you've selected and see here it says embed your design on Medium, WordPress, or your own website. It will always update um, automatically, meaning that once you've already embedded your video onto your website and you come into Canva and you make changes, it's going to update there as well. And the main reason is because your design is going to be public as soon as you add, activate this. So I'm going to click on embed. And see it says here, your embed links have been created. Here is going to be the HTML embed code that you can copy. And then here is um, a link that you can use as well. So all you need to do, it looks weird. It doesn't seem like it's going to be um, copied, but you just click on copy and I'm gonna bring over this notepad so that you can see. And then I'm gonna paste it. So this is the entire embed code that you're going to use to put onto your website in order for this to appear. So I hope that that answers your questions. And just remember, anytime you wanna make changes to this, you can come back into Canva, you can make the changes and you don't need to go and copy the embed code again. As long as it stays live, it is going to appear on your website or on Medium, wherever it is that you've posted it whatever changes you're going to make will appear on that as well. But just note, this will not be the present and record video that you've created. So I hope that that explains it. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you find that this is helpful to someone that you know, please do share it. If you're not already a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks as always for watching. I truly appreciate the questions, comments, and suggestions that you post on my videos. Please keep doing them and I will be continuing to do You Ask, I Answer in the future. So until I see you in the next video, take care and thanks as always for watching.